All praises to the Most High. So tonight's topic is called the plague of gangsterism. Operation Tutula. So let's open up with the book of Proverbs chapter 1. Read verse... Proverbs chapter 1, verse 18. Watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 18. Come on. And they lay wait for their own blood. Mm -hmm. They lack privily for their own lives. You see that? They lay wait for blood. For They lay wait for their own blood. Meaning for their own people. That's what we read in Micah 2, verse 8. Of late, my people has risen up as an enemy. We are, there are people, they are at war with their own people. They've forgotten the enemy. That's why it's so easy for us to just hate one another and kill each other like it's nothing. And the nations sit there, they watch. They are at ease because why? We are against ourselves. It's time to return back so we can see each other as brother and sister, brother and brother, and love one another as the Lord loved us. You understand? And the only thing that is going to bring that together is the laws of God. Understand that? Watch this, okay? I'm going to show you something that was going on. Okay, I'm going to play this video. Because they said they lay wait for their own blood, meaning their own people. Okay, watch this. I'm almost done. Mm. This is what's going on. In our, in our communities right now. I'm going to show you that as a people, we have forgotten who the enemy is. See that? They are singing about our brothers and sisters from Zimbabwe. Because he said, Operation Tutula, that's that operation by that boy called Nkanka something. You know, that boy is confused, he's young, don't know what he's doing. You understand? He's, push, he's perpetrating violence against his own. He's afraid, he's scared to deal with the real enemy, which is. The people that colonized us, that conquered us, that took our land and our resources, and they are here illegally. Your brother that comes from them, who, who, who the brother comes from them, who actually, the white man before he came, there was no borders here. Now the borders are created by the same man that has divided us, that has robbed us collectively, but he's what? He's divided us. Now we see each other as enemies. You see that boy. Just simple as he's simple as hell. Give me that in Proverbs 7, verse 7. He's a young man void of understanding. He has no understanding. He's just filled with rage, filled with emotions. He's emotional. We what you got. Proverbs 7, verse 7. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 7. Read. And be held among the simple ones. I descend among the youth, a young man void of understanding. You see that? He's a young man void of understanding. He don't know nothing. He don't know what he's doing. And now because our people, they don't know any better, they just follow along. They're not realizing or like, listen, this person look like me. That's my brother right there. The only thing that is going to bring the 12 tribes of Israel together is this Bible. Nothing else. Yeah. Yes. Yes. South African belongs to South Africans. Yes. So Sankela, Pakani, Gamnand, as funny sweet as funny apple, a stone chitina. So Stella Uti. So so they are comforting themselves, or what they are doing is right. They are not causing violence and all of that. But you know what I've seen in our, our people in so in South Africa? They don't want to do this. They will not go to the streets and sell apples and bananas. They won't do it. That's what we read in Luke 7, verse 31. 
when it says they are sitting idle in the marketplace. Yeah. So Tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Singan Bonilla. Until, until, until 2022. I swear. 2023. Yes. 2024. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. I thought they were not destroying. Look what they are doing. Are they not destroying the properties of their of, of, of our brothers from Zimbabwe? <laughs> Okay, this this is not different from the the gang violence the gangs you know the killings of the gang members and so forth terrorism in the community these they are doing the same thing to their own people the same thing is no difference because they 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 like to make you think or it is diff no it's the same thing <laughs> That's the grainy right there, right? That's a grain. Listen, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Okay, so this looks like it's a repeat of the of the one that we was playing. But I want to show you something with the, what we just saw. Give me the book of Zephaniah 3 verse 10. I'm going to show you something. Man. Because you see, like, in a, reading is fundamental. Our people is void of understanding. And if you bring the Bible, they're not going to want to hear nothing. They are okay doing this, terrorizing their own people in the name of Tutula Operation. The hell is this? Give me Zephaniah 3 verse 10. Okay. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 10. Come on. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliant, even the daughter of my despairs, shall bring mine offering. You see that? It says beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. That goes into Central Africa, Ethiopia as well, because Israel is there. You understand? Down Mozambique, Ghana, Guinea, uh, Gabon, Rwanda, South Africa, Namibia, and so forth. Israel is scattered all over the continent. You understand? So the Lord is letting you know where we are going to be scattered in these last days because we're coming from Jerusalem. Now read, read verse 12. I'm going to show you really the state of our people, wherever we are. We are, we are always on the run. That's what the so-called South African don't understand. You don't understand that. You understand? You are so proud calling yourself a direction and calling yourself after a name of a white man. I'm a South African. You don't even know what you're saying. 
Okay, read verse 12. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 12. Mm -hmm. I will also live in the midst of thee and afflicted and poor people. You see that? I will live in the midst of thee and afflicted and poor people. That's what you are saying. You understand? Because we're poor. Wherever we're scattered, we are always at the bottom. We are impoverished. Read. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. You see that? They will trust in the name of the Lord because the prophets are going to go out and bring the scriptures out. Next verse. Read. The remnant of Israel shall not the do remnant iniquity. Of Israel. He's letting you know who are the dispersed. The remnant of Israel. You understand? The most High God is letting us know that, listen, we are going to be in the state of poverty, affliction, you understand, oppression. But now, is it is not enough that the white man is oppressing us, the Chinese man is oppressing us, the, the, the Arabs, they are oppressing our people. Now, no, it's not enough. We are oppressing our own people. We are oppressing each other. We forgot what the Lord did for us when we were delivered out of Egypt. Now we're dealing with each other with rigor. You understand? Watch this. Give me Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 19. Second Ezra in the Apocrypha, 16, verse 19. Read that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 19. Come on. Amen. You know what? No Wait. Hold on. Wait. Get Matthew 24. Get Matthew 24, verse 12. Then we go to Second Ezra. I'll do it like this. Matthew 24, verse, verse 12. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. Go ahead. And because iniquity shall abound, mm -hmm. the love of many shall wax cold. You see what Christ is telling you? He says, because iniquity shall abound, meaning sin. There isn't all, you see all this confusion going on, these toy toys, this hatred, the, all, this, all this terrorism that you see, whether it's by gangs or whether it's by so-called normal citizens, terrorizing their own brothers and sisters from the same continent that they are on is because of what? Sin, iniquity. Because we know how to do a, a we know how to play the magician. We know how to um, put the blame somewhere else. We don't want to really deal with our own issues, which is what? Repent, keep the laws of God so we can get delivered. Our people don't want to do that. And it's all over. In America, it's the same thing. You see the same thing in the U.S., you see the same thing in Europe. You see the same thing all over. We take our frustration somewhere else instead of dealing with the real issue, which is what? Repentance. Acknowledge that the reason why we are all at the bottom is because we broke God's laws. That's why. Our people don't want to take accountability for that thing. That's why it says, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's what you are seeing here. Now give me Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. Let me show you how how the love of many will works cold. Read that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 19. Come on. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's what you saw on the video. Come on. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Uh-huh. And spoil their goods because of the lack Wait. of bread mm -hmm. and for great tribulation. For great tribulation. You see that? He says they will spoil their goods. That's what you just saw. They are burning their prop, their, their possessions now. He says because of lack of bread, they are hungry. Because they are sitting idle in the marketplace. Okay? And for great tribulation, judgment from the most high God. That's why. Watch this. Give me Job 19 verse 15. Job chapter 19 verse 15. I'm going to show you something here. Because David prophesied about this thing. No, no. About our forefather Job. He prophesied about what you see in here. This xenophobia thing, Job prophesied about it. Watch this. Come on. The book of Job, chapter 19, verse 15. Come on. They that dwell in mine house and my maids can me for a stranger. Mm. I am an alien in their sight. You see that? Foreign. Now you become a foreigner to your own people. That's how low we have fallen as a nation. That's how low we have fallen as the 12 tribes of Israel. Start at verse 14. Read verse 14 and 15. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 19, verse 14. Mm -hmm. my, my king's folk have my failed. King's folk, my king's folk, meaning my family, my relatives, have failed. Read. 
and my family and friends have forgotten me. Meaning what? Our people have forgotten who their kinfolk is. They've forgotten who their family is. They've forgotten, the, they've forgotten their brothers and sisters. They've forgotten who the, any, the real enemy is. It's not your own brother. But Job is prophesying that is your kinfolk will fail, meaning in terms of what? They're not going to be able to identify with you. And my familiar friends have forgotten me. They've forgotten that the brothers and sisters from Zem, from the Congo, Nigeria, we all coming from Jerusalem. We ran from the Jerusalem in 70 AD when the temple of Jerusalem was destroyed. We started, we ran deeper into the continent. We started to hide among Hermetic tribes. We forgot. Ray, come on. They that dwell in my house mm. and my maids count me for a stranger. Come on. I am an alien in their sight. You see that? I am an alien in their sight. Give me Isaiah 69. Give me Psalm 69 verse 8. Not Isaiah. Psalm 69 verse 8. I'm going to show you this right here. Watch this. The book of Psalm chapter 69 verse 8. Mm -hmm. I am become a stranger unto my brethren. You see that? I am become a stranger to my brethren. That's what you are seeing with this xenophobia going on. With this boy void of understanding acting like a soldier. He's not a soldier. You understand? A soldier always stays on the mission. What is the mission? Deliver your own people from oppression. That's the only, the, the only military that the black man is going to join is God's military. Understand that? And in that military, our job is to rescue our own people from oppression. Not fight against your own. Read again. The book of Psalms, chapter 69, verse 8. Mm -hmm. I am become a stranger unto my brethren Ray. and an alien unto my mother's children. That's what you are seeing. That's this xenophobia thing. This xenophobia is what? The, the, the nations have taught us to hate each other and they love it. You understand? So, but me, I've never seen any xenophobic, any xenophobic video them going to confront the white men to go back to Europe. Them confronting the Chinese men to go back to China. I've never seen that. They always go to the brother from Zim, the brother from the Congo, the brother from Nigeria, so on and so forth. Because what? You have self-hatred. We've been conditioned to hate each other. So much so that we will never confront the real enemy that everybody knows. Nobody wants to do that. You understand? Read that thing again, verse 8. I am become a stranger unto my brethren mm. and an alien unto my mother's children. You see that thing? And an alien unto my mother's children. Give me Exodus 18 verse 3. Exodus chapter 18 verse 3. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 18 verse 3. Go ahead. And the two sons of which the name of the one was, was Geshom. Uh -huh. For he said, I have been an alien in a strange land. You see, this is Moses now. Then Moses' children. He says, because I've been an alien in a strange land. That's exactly what happened when he was in the land of Midian. You understand? And then we became strangers in the land of Egypt. We, that's not, that was not our homeland. We had to go home. Likewise, today, we are scattered all over the earth. And guess what? You treat your own brother as an enemy. You are at war with your own brother. That's some evil. That's some evil stuff. That's how low we have fallen as a nation of people. It's time to repent. It's time to return back to this Bible. You understand? Our people don't want to open this book because this book requires you to change. This book requires to be in order. This book requires to take responsibility and accountability for the things that you do. So you can be what? Responsible for your nation. These so-called political parties and all, they don't teach family. They don't teach, they don't teach marriage. They don't teach none of that. They just like to toy toy and nothing gets done. Give me that in Acts 19, verse 32. Because whenever they gather together, listen, everybody here there, they have their own agenda. They've got their own gains that they think they're going to get out of the toy toy or the march. Watch this. Acts 19, verse 32. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 32. Read. Some therefore cried one thing. Mm-hmm and some another, 
Come on. For the assembly was confused. So whenever you see these toy toys, hold on. Whenever you see the toy toys going on, that assembly is a confused assembly because they are not in the same spirit. They are not. Everybody believes something different. Okay, Ray? And the Mopad knew not wherefore they were come together. You see, you see that? Nobody knew why they was there, but they came together anyway. They were the same t-shirt, but they are not in the same mind. You understand? They are not in the same mind. They don't believe the same thing. Guess what? All of them believe that Jesus is white. I'm going to tell you right now. They all believe that Jesus is a white man. That's why it's so easy for them to hate their own brother. You understand? I'm going to end the class right there. Okay? Let's break break. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? For I have received of the Lord, that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed to break, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, say, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, and in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.